Hi, my name is Phil, and I am attempting to create a YouTube channel uh, in the hopes of helping men who are struggling with the lust of the flesh, particularly in the area of pornography. This is something that has swept through our country uh, in the United States and is swept through, unfortunately, the church, the body of Christ. And it's something that has been ignored quite a bit. It's kept in silence. And um, I'm hoping that through this channel, I can help uh, men who are fighting this battle and feel like they're fighting it alone. One thing is for sure, statistically, you are absolutely are not alone. Uh, the percentages are ridiculously high in the body of Christ, in the church uh, of men that are fighting this battle. Uh, even in leadership, pastoral ministry, men are fighting with this. And it's no surprise with the advent of social media and technology, it's something that is very easy. And as a result, of it's rampant. You can view this stuff in the privacy of your own room, your own home, and nobody's there to keep you accountable. And the concern that I have is everybody knows biblically, from a biblical standpoint, that pornography is wrong. Jesus himself said that if a man looks at a woman to lust after her, he's committed adultery in his heart. So we know just by looking uh, at a woman lustfully, we've committed adultery in our heart. That's a very serious thing. God doesn't take that lightly. So we know it's wrong biblically, but what I found in my own life and from my own experience and what I find uh, working with uh, men in this is that there are a lot of things that trigger men to be tempted in this area and consequently fall. And they often don't even understand what's happening or, or, or why it's happening. Many men, when they were young, faced... Uh, wounds from a lot of times their father or other situations in their life that has caused a deep wound that crops up in the area of pornography. A lot of young kids were exposed to this. At nine or ten years old, I was exposed to um, pictures that were very inappropriate, which ultimately led to the viewing of pornography. And I was just a pre-adolescent, um, minding my own business, but there were things in my parents' house that I had access to that they didn't even realize. And this is back in the um, mid to late 80s. My concern is that even though there are groups like Focus on the Family that uh, are addressing this, and they do an excellent job at it, my concern is that in churches collectively that it is not being addressed as thoroughly as it should be. Um, one of the reasons is the people who are usually leading the church are men and any normal man that has a testosterone is struggling with or having to fight at least this battle of the lust of the flesh. And so as a result of that, not many people are saying a whole lot about it because it's so widespread. The problem is there are men who are dying spiritually in the church because they're stumbling and falling. Um, as I've already said, this is something that I have experienced in my life. It's been a much longer of a journey than it should have been. But as a result, I want to hopefully create this channel in a way to, to help men bring to light their own struggles and hopefully give some keys and tips um, that will help men to fight the battle to overcome, for them to understand what triggers them. Um, I'm no psychologist. I don't have a degree in any area that would pertain to this. But as they say, experience is the best teacher. And unfortunately, I have some experience in this area. And it has caused me a lot of pain in my life. And uh, unfortunately, even more so, it's caused my wife a lot of pain. And so as God has allowed me to work through this myself, um, I've learned some things along the way that I hope uh, will be a, a blessing to, um, to those who view this. Within the last year, we had a man come to our uh, church and he did a seminar just on a Saturday dealing particularly with this area. And it was amazing to me how many things that he said that were biblical, biblically based, and very practical, that um, as I was sitting there listening to him, I thought, yeah, yep, I've said that before, yep, I've experienced that before, yeah, that's happened to me, because I've lived it. And why it's unfortunate that that is the case, um, God is able to use it for good in my life, and I'm hoping um, he'll use it for good in other people's lives as well. But... My hope through this channel is to create something that's um, interactive. I would love people to comment. I'd love to have interaction back and forth through the comment section. 
I'm hoping to make it so it's interesting um, where I can combine both this um, this topic and my life and uh, even my hobbies and things that I like kind of combine them all together and so it's not some boring thing where I'm just sitting here talking the whole time but uh, I'm a hunter as you can probably see in the background um, I love to hunt and uh, there's a lot of lessons actually that I've learned um, just the pursuit of the white-tailed deer that actually apply to um, that can be applied in a spiritual sense to uh, this battle one of the things that has been a concern of mine and I've really um, have come to understand how shameful this is and how guilty people feel and so they don't want to talk about it it's something they want to keep a secret in their lives and the enemy is all too cutting to uh, give us reasons as to why we should keep the secret and uh, what I have found in my own life is that's one of the worst things you can possibly do when it comes to battling the area of pornography it should not be something that is kept secret in our lives we need to expose it the Bible says we're to confess our sins one to another that what we might be healed um, there's healing and confession um, there's strength in numbers when men bond together um, to fight this together um, there's added strength to it versus fighting it alone and it's also very helpful to realize you know what I'm not alone in this battle because you are not there's a book that's out that's called every man's battle years and years ago I read it and it's been out for a long time but that is the truth it is every man's battle we all have to fight this battle and in a sex crazed society as widespread around the world as it is um, it's never been harder than now to fight this battle and um, my hope is that we can fight it together that we can learn together that we can grow together that we can conquer this battle together and um, so through this um, I'm going to give a bunch of the things that I have personally learned in the hopes that by God's grace it'll help you as well and uh, and maybe we'll learn something about ourselves through this that that will help us to come to an area where we can walk in victory and um, I would encourage you if this is something that you do struggle with don't keep it a secret don't hide in shame and guilt your whole life um, trying to fight this battle on your own I've been there I've done that thought I could conquer it all by myself and what I realized is I can and it took me a long time to figure that out you cannot conquer this on your own and so this is just one uh, channel that is dedicated to this but quite frankly I don't think this will be necessarily even enough for you um, my hope is that as I post videos about it you'll subscribe and you'll hopefully um, benefit from this channel but really you need to find a group um, your pastor um, somebody that you can talk to about this and be open about it and honest about it and somebody that's willing to walk with you and not shame you for the battle because I've, I've heard a lot of people come down very hard on this and we know it's sin it is sinful um, any Christian who's really serving the Lord and trying to please the Lord w would not say that this is not a sinful act when you lust it's easier said than done though when you've walked in it when you've been addicted to it to just suddenly stop um, it takes a lot of help it takes intervention um, it takes the love of other brothers and the understanding of other brothers who are fighting the same battle and uh, I, I would hope that you wouldn't try to walk this journey alone because what I have found is you may think you can you may try as hard as you can and you may seem to for a little bit but eventually it's going to creep back up on you so my prayer for this channel is that it's one that will inspire you to do the right things obviously I can't force you I don't want to force you God doesn't want to force us he gives us the opportunity to do what is right and, and, and make hard choices that will help us to walk in victory but my hope is that through these videos that I post by God's grace you will find the motivation to fight this battle with all of your strength so that this is not the pattern that uh, you are stuck in for more years than you've already been so hopefully by God's grace this is helpful and if it's something that you think will be helpful I would encourage you to subscribe and I look forward to uh, posting another video here 
uh, very soon. May the Lord bless you.